Power authorities have described the wild winds as some of the worst Adelaide has ever seen as they work to restore power to more than 40,000 homes and businesses. The blackouts began last night as hundreds of power lines came crashing down. Suburb after suburb, street after street, plunged into darkness. Power went off at around about 9.30 last night and we haven't had power since then. Across the foothills and southern suburbs, more than 90,000 homes and businesses lost power and late this afternoon, half were still in the dark. With the fridges not running, we can't keep the stock cold enough. So now we're having to organise getting mobile cool rooms and generators to try and preserve our stock from spoiling. Some simply closed their doors, including this pharmacy at Waddle Park, which is relied upon by a nearby nursing home. My actual boss has actually contacted them, let them know what's going on and they can't have any medication today. Bit of a disaster really. Big disaster. It's probably ranks with some of the worst storms we've had. Patients at Glenside Hospital were also affected for most of the day with no generator available. Problems too at several major intersections where traffic was brought to a standstill. Crews are working frantically to try and fix the problems, but considering they've been called to more than 360 jobs like this one, customers are urged to be patient. We'd be expecting that we'll be getting most people back by about 9 o'clock to midnight tonight. Uh, but there will be several thousand people who will be without power into the morning. For now, most are happy to wait it out. And start fresh from tomorrow, hopefully. Ben Avery joins us live. And Ben, how are repair crews progressing? Well, Brenton, they're doing their best, but the bad news is there are still literally dozens of suburbs without power, and in some cases they'll be without power until at least 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, those suburbs include here at Burnside and the Linden Park area. Then we go right up north to Golden Grove and then down south to the Mitcham area. So it is a big widespread area. A full list of suburbs can be found on the SA Power Network's website, and let's hope that that list is much smaller by tomorrow morning. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Ben.